is going to see about the topic packet hiding methods for preventing selective jamming attacks it is an uh, iterable transaction on dependable and secure computing we uh, going to see about the abstract abstract of the project uh, in the abstract we describe about the open nature uh, open nature of the wireless medium leaves it's vulnerable to the intentional interference attack it means that the open nature of the wireless medium because in mannet we use mannet or wireless lan we use the uh, a medium as a rsl medium so that uh, any jammer jammer or a hacker we can see that they use the high and ease drop using high frequency transceivers and they can use to fetch the data which are used to send to the destination and they jam it and uh, corrupt the packets uh, and they can uh, corrupt the packets and send back the data so that the receiver receives the corrupted data or the file will be not transmitted to avoid this uh, to mitigate this we use uh, three schemes you which was a com com combining cryptographic primitives with the physical layer attributes so that the uh, packet classification on the uh, uh, fly on the fly is can be avoided you uh, with the, and the less effort in the communication overhead existing system existing system uh, it's nothing but bad the we used to have the uh, source and the destination and the intermediate nodes we don't have any other specific cryptographic schema to avoid the internal threats which are caused by the uh, jammer who's internal inside the network and he can he knows the schemes and the protocols which are used to transmit the data where when the threat was an external threat we can override in the existing system itself using the frequency hopping and uh, the alert algorithm which used to avoid the jamming in proposed system in the proposed system to avoid the uh, act, a jamming due to the intentional interference or the internal threats we use three schemes which are uh, the combination of the cryptographic primitives and the uh, physical layer attributes so that we can avoid the jamming and we can send the data in to from source to the destination system you yeah, see this is the dft these are the dft diagrams about the system level 1 level 2 and we use uh, pentium hardware and software specifications for the system modules this is describe the modules of the system in the in here we have four modules real time packet classification strong hiding commitment scheme cryptographic puzzle hiding scheme hiding not all or nothing based on not nothing transformation real time packet classification real time packet classification is a process where the packet can be classified and by the jammers if the packet is classified the jammer can jam the signal corrupt the packet until the e bits the correct error bits e of the packet so that uh, uh, jammer j 
is capable of jamming the signal between the A and B communication wireless communication in the wireless mirror. When uh, A j, j jams the signal, he can classify the packet and move the retrieve the message and he can corrupt the packet. To avoid those things, we use strong guiding commitment scheme. In strong guiding commitment scheme, the user used to enter an key which used to permute permutation two level permutation take place first initial level permutation takes place and further at the initial level and uh, after the uh, cryptographic primitives are applied we use another permutation to s uh, so that uh, the data will be more secure and uh, at the receiver end it only it can be decoded others cannot be retrieve the data and the uh, uh, permanent uh, the strong guiding commitment scheme store the data at the sub layer so that the key encrypt uh, encrypted data will be at the sub layer of a packet so we cannot uh, retrieve the packet by the jammer cryptographic puzzle adding scheme in cryptographic puzzle adding scheme we used to have an uh, we used to generate an uh, puzzle by the user and we can uh, give a time slot so that the when the uh, system is accessed by an uh, when the message is accessed by an authenticated user means he, he can compute it within the time slot else is a jammer means he cannot retrieve the data as he enters the day uh, answer in uh, answer wrongly or he cross the time slot uh, last is hiding all or nothing transfer based method in which the message packets are converted into pseudo messages n number of pseudo messages so that the when the receiver collects all the pseudo messages and decrypt it to get the original message if any pseudo message packets have been lost or corrupted he cannot retrieve the original messages these are the modules which have been followed in our project we are going to see the demo of our project how it may run we are going to start the main this is a source sender sender will send the source file from the system to the destination outgrass router which is a transist intermediate router router 1 we are going to start the router 1 Router 2 okay, We have started the router 1 and router 2 Now the destination Send to home We, we can type the destination address And type in the local host then browse the file which you want to send to the destination going to select the file to send to the destination ok now when we give send just two uh, schemes we have developed for this project from the three we selected only two cryptographic puzzle or strong adding I am going to select strong adding commitment scheme and uh, enter the value
check that the message is received and it is transmitted in acknowledgement you see total number of packets it shows the hard acknowledgement for packet packet 2 failed and it retransmitted then packet 3 packet 1 are transmitted last packet detail will be displayed here now at the destination save when we give save we want to enter the key to save the file then means it will be displayed what file it been transmitted from the source and we save it again 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 okay. now when we check here the output we receive those files so that we can get the file using the schemes so it will be valuable to save it and it will be more effective to transmit the data from source to the destination from this project we get know these things thank you for listening have a great day